These days, with viruses and all whatnot, and a lot of us are working from home, at least I tend to sit for a too long period of a time. So I wanted to change that. Sure, I could set a timer on my phone, but let's face it, that is too easy to shut down. So I figured, what is the most disturbing thing I can think of that can get me up from my chair? Remember, when you're riding a car or a bus and a kid starts kicking the seat from the back, that's disturbing. So, I made this. Well, as a prototype, that is. I made another thing. Way too overcomplicated for the time I had, but well, I guess that's me. The motivational butt kick attraction, or Wackabam 2000, or yes, something along those lines. This chair has two small shoes, both for the reason as it being more compact and well, you generally don't see grown-ups kicking the back of chairs that often. They use a mechanism that has been used for more than thousands of years ago, but you probably remember it best from some old blacksmith shop where there was a really big long wooden beam with metal at the end. 
a huge hammer. It's called a trip hammer. It's been used for a long time. Even some kind of Jing Zhong China dynasty uh, had used it, I think, before Christ and such stuff. Here's all the inside info. We have an Arduino Nano that yeah runs all the code and stuff. We have a DC to DC converter to be able to get 5 volts out of the 12 volt supply to drive the Nano without an extra power supply. We have a MOSFET driver that yeah controls the higher load uh, of the 12 volt supply and it's yeah, controlled by the Arduino. The motor is an old windshield wiper motor that I've been had thing in my possession for well I remember how long. The trouser are uh, ripped by my daughter, so they were going in the trash anyway. These are her old shoes, size 24. They probably might be a tight fit, but maybe still fits. And loads of hot glue. Here we have the cam lever that spins around and connects to a bearing that pushes up the uh, yeah, one of the kicking legs and it's tensioned by various rubber bands that I had lying around. This build took yet again a lot of time and my good friend Hugo came to the rescue yet again. But now it works. Maybe not flawlessly but it works and I can finally sit my chair and don't sit for too long hopefully. I don't really remember how much troubleshooting I've been doing in this project, but I think I have problems with almost every component, all the way from the power supply to a faulty ultrasonic sensor that I opened new from package, and uh, I've blown up a lot of MOSFETs, like a transistor stuff, because apparently the power supply I have is wired differently, so the one leader that had a line on it that's usually ground was in this case yeah, positive so that made a lot of things burn <laughs>